No human passengers uh, flew to the International Space Station on the Soyuz MS-14, but Fyodor, a humanoid robot, was strapped into the center seat of the Soyuz vehicle for the ride uphill as he is for the ride back to Earth uh, later this afternoon. Uh, the robot was unstrapped from uh, the Soyuz commander seat in the center seat of the Soyuz vehicle, was brought inside uh, the Russian segment of the station, and this video taken last weekend shows uh, Skvortsov and Ovchinin uh, sending commands to the robot and testing out its ability to react to those commands. Uh, all of this testing, part of the uh, the test flight of the Soyuz vehicle and this particular humanoid robot. Other refinements uh, to uh, this robot will be made uh, in the future, and the Russian uh, space officials will analyze its performance while on board the International Space Station uh, before uh, any determination is made for a reflight of this hardware. And uh, right on time, the hooks are driving open. And physical separation coming at uh, 1.14 p.m. Central Time, 2.14 p.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station flew over the uh, border between northeastern China and southeastern Russia. So after 11 days of the International Space Station, the unpiloted Soyuz MS-14 is now flying free, headed for a landing on the south central steppe of Kazakhstan about two hours and 20 minutes from now. The uh, Soyuz MS-14 spacecraft and the International Space Station about to fly into an orbital sunrise over the uh, Northwest Pacific. And the first separation burn is underway. This was an eight second burn of the Soyuz uh, thrusters to increase uh, the opening rate between the Soyuz and the International Space Station at about a half a meter per second. This view now from uh, a camera on the truss of the International Space Station.